Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another TreamUI Smart Pro video. As I promised in my last video, I wanted to share with you some tips and advice on how to add games to the stock OS, how to change some settings. So today that will be the purpose of the video. Uh, as I mentioned in my earlier video in the quick unboxing, I bought the device uh, blank without an expansion card so as I always mention I love to add my own games using you know good brand SD cards like um, Samsung Evo Select or SanDisk Ultra or Extreme and I've done the same for this device today I'm going to showcase how to add the SD card uh, directory or system so first of all, let me just show you that for the purpose of the video, I'm using a 64 gigabyte SD card, but you can go with 128 or 256 if you wish. Uh, when you insert the SD card, just make sure you insert it with the label facing upwards like this. because some of the Ambernic devices have the label down but I think for this device you have to face the label up so this is the correct position let me just insert it now the process is quite simple what you need to do and I'll include this in the video description head to the github page the link will be provided in the video description and, and download a zip file which is the SD card pack and then uh, unzip that zip file and then you will see uh, or extract it and you will see for example a couple of uh, folders file structure just copy it as it is to your SD card you don't have to burn it you don't have to write using Belena Etcher or Rufus just put the SD card in your PC copy the contents or the file structure from the link and then put it on your micro SD card take out the micro SD card put it in your device and let's boot up and then once you boot up the games will show in the stock OS It's very very simple procedure there you go as you see I had some Atari games I'm an Atari fan Dreamcast I tried Dreamcast as I mentioned in the earlier video it's not playing well maybe some light Dreamcast games would be okay but it's more like a bonus I added some Sega Game Gear Nintendo Game & Watch Game Boy Advance Mega Drive or Sega Genesis Sega Master System N64 N64 plays really well I tried PSP and PS1 as I mentioned it's a hit and miss so probably the 2D or easy games PC Engine, Turbo Graphics 16, and I think that's it. Okay, now let me show you some settings that you can change that gives you uh, a maximum or ultimate performance. Head to Systems here. Uh, I'm sorry, before Systems, let's head to app and then function key now in this function key you can have the maximum performance available so if you see here here you have the function key make sure to keep it on the right position okay so this right position gives you the ultimate performance so if you click on it LED off, silent mode, 
CPU power fade CPU performance mode make sure it's checked so this gives you the ultimate performance especially for high-end games if you want to try PSP PS1 or Dreamcast okay this is an important setting to do and then head to settings this is another important option or settings to change scroll down until you reach calibrate joystick this is also a very important setting to do as I mentioned just click on it and uh, follow the on-screen instructions it shows left joystick right joystick you know you just simply move the, the analog stick around and then it will be calibrated and then you do the same with the right joystick you know you just move it until it covers all the edges of the uh, analog sticks and then it will be over just follow the on-screen instructions so this is another important setting to do to give you a very enjoyable gameplay uh, another thing worth mentioning is that um, if you want to scrape box art unfortunately you cannot do it right away from the device you have to do it on your PC you have to go to uh, screen scraper the app or scraper.net I'll include it in the video description download it create an account and then uh, point or direct them to your game ROMs on the SD card which means the SD card should be inserted in your PC and once you have scraper.net uh, downloaded I'll mention all the steps in the video description just make sure to point direct uh, the scraping box art to your micro SD card especially in the images folder that's where all your box art media will be saved okay as I mentioned don't worry about it I'll mention it in the video description okay now another good setting uh, which this is optional if you would like to change it let me just tell you what it is if you go to um, the games now uh, this 5 inch screen has the aspect ratio of 16.9 this might not be ideal for the retro systems but I personally don't prefer to have shaders or overlay uh, therefore I remove them but if you would like to keep them feel free to do so let me show you how to remove them uh, if you head to for example Game Boy Color okay for example Aladdin I personally removed the shaders uh, beforehand so as you see there are no shaders so what you need to do just click on the menu button here okay once you click on it it brings you this menu so just head to advanced menu and then it will take you to RetroArch and of course if you are familiar with RetroArch you can just go there to the section that says on screen overlay as you see here click on it using A and make sure it's off display overlay should be disabled okay so this is one way to do it and then you can screen scroll down again and when you reach shaders you can do the same click a video shaders disabled or off it's a personal preference some people would like to have it I personally don't like to have it once you change these two settings go to overrides to save your override and then scroll down until you reach save core override okay so just click on it make sure it's saved 
so you have to do it for every system but you do this option only once okay once you do it you don't have to worry about it again and then you go quit and as you see here I have no shaders uh, or no overlay on the sides just to show you yeah I know it's I know these black borders also don't lo don't look well, but as I said, I, I prefer to have the black uh, borders than having, uh, you know, distracting box art or shaders. Okay, so uh, let me just show you. So now the shaders are removed on the sides, and then we go to the menu again here and then exit game you can also save and load games if you wish you can do net play if you wish okay so i think that would be for today these are some uh, tweaks and changes just to get you a good uh, performance on the trim ui smart pro as i as i mentioned i really uh, love this device and it's a great option for under 100 us dollars and it plays until N64 very well. Okay guys, if you have any other questions regarding the stock OS, you know, mention it in the video description. I'll be happy to answer it. That would be for today. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old. We grow old because we stop gaming.